Welcome to Umbrella Lane's video guide series on responding to the equally safe consultation. Um, I'm Jake Jones, the Community Support Officer for Umbrella Lane. And this episode, we'll be going through question eight, which asks, support services are primarily focused within four of Scotland's main cities, Aberdeen, Dundee, Edinburgh, and Glasgow. How can the needs of women throughout Scotland who are engaged in prostitution be met, noting that prostitution is not solely an urban issue? Firstly, this is a pretty good question because it definitely is important and it is true that services, generally speaking, do struggle to extend their reach outside of these cities. Part of the problem is that many organisations still work primarily with street workers, which leaves other types of workers sort of excluded from those services even within cities. So taking that further in rural areas, it's even more of a problem. The issue can only really be addressed through inclusion, and that's inclusion of all workers in decision and policy making, as well as in society. And then when that happens, you sort of are faced with a more positive situation, not only within cities, but outside of cities where workers <clears throat> can engage in the national discourse freely and openly. And that really is what encourages the active participation that is needed to extend services outside of cities, particularly with most workers working either indoors or online. The second point would be that workers primarily engage with organizations that they trust. And that's a big issue in accessing services as well, in the sense that many workers feel particularly challenged when accessing those services if they have to disclose that they are a sex worker for, feel, for fear of how it would be perceived. This is particularly challenged by the government approach of only supporting organizations that adopt the principle that sex work is violence and abuse. Because when you do that, you exclude the workers who don't necessarily feel that way and who won't trust and engage with those organizations. This is particularly true during COVID as well because workers face further barriers in accessing services because not only do you have to disclose the fact you're a worker, but if you're working, that is also going against the social norm of following restrictions. So there's that added pressure and added challenge as well. This all sort of goes to the best way to allow services to reach outside of cities. It's by allowing communities and networks of workers to safely form. So during the lockdown, for example, group chats of workers grew in popularity quite considerably as workers needed to find and develop their own communities in order to weather the effects of the lockdown. And when you allow those communities and networks to safely form and to engage with organizations that they trust, it's only natural that the reach will spread outside of the main cities as well. And that's one of the priorities of Umbrella Lane going forward. We're looking to expand our regional capacity and focus on areas outside of the main cities in Scotland. And that's from worker demand as well. So we do see this in a tangible way as well. I hope those points help you answer this question, question eight of the consultation. Um, I'll be back for one or two more videos on the remainder. Hope to see you there.